Thank you for joining us for our virtual resource fair brought to you by Orange Technical College. Our goal is to pr provide you with information about community resources and organizations. I'm Mahalia Roberts, and I serve as a career advisor on the Mid Florida campus. And today I have Ms. Jacqueline News with me, um, and she is going to tell us a little bit about community in action. How are you today, Ms. News? I am great. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for being with us. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization and its purpose? Yes. So Community Action was um, is established under the Economic Opportunity Act that started in 1964. And now uh, we have over a thousand agencies throughout the United States. And what Community Action does is provide various services um, for individuals to help them become independent and self-sufficient. Um, our mission is to enhance the life of um, the enhance for the quality of life by eliminating the causes and consequences of poverty by mobilizing and directing resources through collaboration and partnerships, such as the one that we have with you. Um, by providing accessible quality programs that assist, educate, and promote self-sufficiency. And we have what we like to say our community action promise. Community action promise to change people's lives. We embody the spirit of hope, improve communities, and make America a better place to live. We care about our entire community, and we're dedicated to helping people help themselves and each other. Okay, great, great. So you did touch on some of the services, but can you dive a little deeper about the services that you offer the community? Yes, so Community Action offers a variety of services, and then I'm a program manager for, um, for one of them, but I'm gonna give you an overview of some of the services that we provide. We have our community centers that are strategically located throughout Orange County and, um, they're located throughout Orange County and people who are interested in our services can go to one of those community centers um, um, for help. Um, we have a Hal Marston Community Center, Holden Heights, which is located downtown Orlando, with John Bridges, which is in Apopka, Maxi, which is in Winogarn. We have one all the way in East Orange, Orlando, Pine Hills, and um, the Taft Community Center. So when people need particular services that I'll talk about in a few minutes, they can go there and apply for services. Now it is COVID right now and the centers are closed. However, um, as soon as you know uh, the mayor and things change, um, people will be able to go and we'll make an announcement when they can do that. We also have our LAHI program under Community Action, which is the Utility Assistance Program, um, which provides um, um, utility assistance for people who need it. We have a weatherization uh, program, which is for our seniors, where um, if seniors need help with weatherizing their homes, such as you know, caulking uh, windows and doors to make sure that their home is energy efficient. Um, and then we have our Office of Aging. And our Office of Aging deals specifically with our senior population. And they give workshops, um, they connect people, um, our seniors to resources, which is what basically all of our services um, do. And then we have our family self-sufficiency program, and that's the program that I manage. And that program provides a, a vocational and educational assistance for people who are income qualified. So if people, and, and once they enroll in our family self-sufficiency program, and then they have um, an opportunity to various services, you know, such as rental or mortgage assistance. Again, they have to be enrolled. Um, the, we also have a utility um, assistance, child care, some transportation and employment services. Wow, that's amazing. So I, I knew of, because I work at Orange Technical College, you helped some of our students, but I had no idea about the, the other services that you all offered. That is amazing. Now, um, another kind of question off of that, is it based off of your income? Is that how individuals qualify or is there a process for qualification? Yes, there is an eligibility um, 
process where you do have to income qualified currently. You have to be under the 200% um, of the federal house, it's the under 200% of the federal household poverty level and guidelines. If someone is not sure, um, they can call our office and we can let, um, the, let them know if they are within guidelines. Um, you have to have a high school diploma, GED, um, and be an Orange County resident, 18 years or older, and um, um, and you know that, that's just some of the basic requirements. Okay, great, great. So, like you mentioned earlier, we we're still kind of, you know, dealing with COVID and everything. So, how are you all offering services now to the community? So, currently. Um, people can still reach out to those community centers. We have a telephone number they can call, which is 407-836-9333. Um, and they can leave a message. They can also Google, go on Google and um, Google Orange County Community Action. And there's some information there uh, where they can access our services. And of course, they can call me at 407-836-7489. Love to hear from them. Excellent, excellent. And then um, outside of contacting you all, is there any other way to connect with the agency or that would be the best way? So that right now, those are the best way. Um, um, that's the best way as of now. And when that, yes, and when that changes, I would definitely let, let you know, man. The hell yeah. Okay, great. Well, we don't want to hold you too long. We thank you for the information, for letting our students know about the different services uh, via Community in Action, and we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Have a great day.